Hello there, steve -os. No montage yet. What? Crazy. No montage at the beginning of the weekly vlog. Welcome to weekly vlog 137. It is Monday morning. It's 4.30 in the morning. I've just woke up and I've just got dressed into my work uniform. And I'm currently taking Buddy out for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood. Just about to give Buddy his fresh food and water, which I topped up last night before I went to bed. Just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work. Now I'm just about to put my smartwatch on my wrist. You may remember at the end of last week's weekly vlog, I uh, spoke about the movie Fall, which I saw earlier this year, came out earlier this year as well. And obviously how it wasn't available to, uh, to rent on Amazon Prime Video here in the UK, but was available to rent in other rentals, uh, digital rental stores in the UK, such as Google TV, YouTube, and Sky Store. Well, uh, I've got some good news, as I found out while I was in the process of waking up, that uh, the movie is now available to buy and keep on Amazon Prime Video here in the UK. I should imagine it'll be the same with other digital rental stores in the UK as well. Uh, but you can buy it for the same price that you could rent it. $13.99, both in SD and HD, standard definition and high definition. I might buy it, I might keep it, to be honest, I might get it, maybe towards the end of the month or something, maybe. Anyway, uh, it is Monday morning and I'm currently on my way to work on this Monday morning. I'm doing a 6 a.m. till 12 p.m. shift at work today. So I'm doing an overtime shift. Which is what, yeah, again, you know, like I said last week, Fridays, normally, it's rare for me to go to work. For the next three Mondays, I'm doing a rare Monday at work. Um, so, yeah, so I'm doing so I'm doing a couple of overtime shifts at work. Well, what with it coming up to Christmas and all of that, you know, I can help out as and where I can. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, also, as well, I'm not looking forward to my walk to work tomorrow and Wednesday. Apparently, it's supposed to be between 70 to 90% chance of rain. I really hope it doesn't rain. Really, really hope it don't rain. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, so I'm currently on my way to work, and, uh, oh, someone's put a bin liner over that thing. Weird. Anyway, on my way to work. It is Monday afternoon and I have just got home, just about to get out of my work uniform and um, I'm going to take Buddy out for his walk in a second so I'll vlog about that in a moment. But uh, <laughs> when I finished work, so I got a text message um, while I was on my break today from my mum to say could you please pick up some bolognese ingredients because we're going to have spaghetti bolognese for dinner this evening anyway. So I picked up the bolognese sauce, I picked up the mixed veg, and I picked up the sliced mushrooms as well. There was one ingredient, one very important ingredient that I forgot to pick up, which now I'm going to have to go out and go and get from Asda or something a little bit later on this afternoon, before dinner at least. Um, and that one important ingredient was... Mince. I forgot mince. Darn it. Anyway, um, I can't believe it. I can't believe I forgot the mince. How? How did uh, literally? Um, never mind. <laughs> I'll have to go and get some shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, though, I'm just about to get out of my work uniform on this Monday afternoon. Taking Buddy out for his second walk of the day around the backfield back at home I've just put my washing on in the washing machine as well Probably gonna put it in the tumble dryer a little bit later on this evening though or this afternoon because It doesn't look like it's gonna be staying sunny at all for the rest of the afternoon. It looks like it's gonna rain Look at these clouds Not good. Not good Hooray! I'm having to look after both dogs, both Simba and Buddy at the moment in my bedroom. There they are, look, they're running away, going all the way over there somewhere. Anyway, I'm just about to tuck in and have some milk chocolate digestive biscuits. And I've also got a can of Pepsi Max right here as well, which I'm going to drink. And while I eat that and drink it as well, I'm about to catch up on this week's batch of episodes of EastEnders 2010. On BBC iPlayer, on my TV, in my bedroom, on this Monday afternoon. Before tonight's episode of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here begins, 
on ITV a little bit later on this evening. I'm just about to watch last night's episode and catch up on it um, on ITV Hub on my TV in my bedroom. Now just about to watch this week's episode of The Simpsons on my TV in my bedroom. Now just about to watch this week's brand new episode of Bob's Burgers on my TV in my bedroom. Now watching the brand new episode of The Great North on my TV in my bedroom. For dinner this evening I've got spaghetti bolognese and for dessert this evening on this Monday evening I've got a hot chocolate fudge cake with some warm custard and I'm currently watching tonight's episode of EastEnders on my Galaxy Tab S7 Plus via BBC iPlayer. Monday night and I have just closed my curtains and also as well I've had a shower, I've also had a shave I've also taken Buddy for his last walk uh, around the backfield for this evening as well and I've topped up his food and water bowl ready to put down for him tomorrow morning. I've sorted out my flask ready for me to make a flask of tea before I head off for work in the morning as well and I've made myself my last flask of tea for this evening as well and also this evening I've also watched tonight's episode of Coronation Street I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here and I've also watched a new episode of Little Demon uh, fam uh, Family Guy and American Dad as well so yeah that's everything I've been up to really across this evening I'm now heading off to bed obviously as you can see behind me I've closed my curtains already so I'm going to put my camera off uh, on charge now and I will speak to you guys in the next scene of the weekly vlog which will be Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. I have been to work today um, and I did a 5.45 till 9.45 shift at work, came home, got out of my work uniform, took Buddy for a walk and um, brushed my teeth. Then went off and saw my support worker for a couple of hours, had to go to the post office because funny story right funny story so i went to the post office today because on friday last week i was expecting well i wasn't expecting a parcel i was expecting a parcel <laughs> to arrive but i didn't realize it was on friday last week and I, I originally I thought it might have been Tuesday, Wednesday last week. But anyway, doesn't matter about that, okay? Anyway, the parcel turned up at my door on Friday last week. And I was up here in my room. My mum was in her room, unwell. And she heard somebody knocking at the door. Um, and uh, obviously she was too unwell to go down to answer the door. Obviously the dogs downstairs were barking like crazy. Um... And I didn't hear I didn't hear the dogs barking, admittedly, and I didn't hear anyone tapping on the door neither. Uh, even though I was just sat here in my chair checking social media. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, I went downstairs about a couple of hours later and found out that um, there was a sorry we've missed you uh, little card in the post box. So anyway. I went down to the post office today to go and get the parcel and it was there luckily. So I picked that up with my support worker today and then after that we went and had a little bit of a wander around Bournemouth Town Centre. So, um, But yeah, I've just got back from there. Uh, by the way, this morning's walk to work, boy was it interesting. So it was tipping it down with rain, hence why I didn't take my vlogging camera with me to, as I was walking to work to say I was going to work, etc, etc. Um, and basically, there's this little bend that I get to on my journey to work. There was like this huge, and I mean huge, puddle, right? And there was a few puddles that I kind of walked in. And not by choice... But just because I didn't realise they were deep puddles that I was walking through. Anyway, let's put it this way. There was this kind of bend that I have to walk around on the footpath. And obviously you can't really see cars coming round the bend. And cars don't really see you as they're coming round the bend neither until like the last minute. Anyway, so as I'm going around this bend, I see this like shop. And I see the window reflection from the shop. And I see an ambulance with its blue flashing lights flash, obviously flashing away. 
And I thought to myself, because I looked, and I was walking right near, right near this big, big puddle. So I thought to myself, crap, this ambulance is going to splash me. So, <laughs> now, 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 now. What I do want to say is this, <laughs> right? Didn't realise this, but ambulances aren't, I mean, to be honest, drivers aren't actually allowed to intentionally splash you with a puddle when they're driving past. They're supposed to swerve, right? They're supposed to. Apparently there is a law or something like that out there to say that drivers aren't allowed to splash you intentionally. Um, so if they see your, if they see you're walking along the footpath and they see a big puddle, apparently they're supposed to swerve around it. Anyway, ambulances are not allowed to do that anyway, right? Because apparently it is illegal for them to do it, just like it is amongst other drivers. Even if they are in an emergency, they're supposed to swerve puddles if they see you're walking alongside it. And I did the most silliest thing. I thought the I thought the ambulance weren't going to swerve the puddle, puddle and splash me. So I ran, and <laughs> I ran, and I ran straight into the puddle, and it caused my feet and my trouser legs to become absolutely saturated. <laughs> And I'm not even kidding. There was even... The, I mean, there was multiple times after that that I didn't realise I was walking in deep puddles of water until, like, the last minute when I was walking through the deep puddles of water. Yeah, that was a very interesting walk into work this morning. Um, also, as well, I'm walking to work tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow morning as well. So I don't think I'll be vlogging my journey to work or vlogging to say I'm going to work tomorrow. Because if it's raining again, there's no chance of me going, Now guys, I'm heading off to work on this Wednesday morning. You know, like I normally do. Right, anyway, uh, I've got Buddy upstairs in my room. I'm just about to go downstairs and make myself a flask of tea. I'm going to do that now on this Tuesday afternoon. It is Tuesday night. Okay got something to admit so earlier i decided to take a nap i'm gonna get my shoes on so i'm gonna take buddy out in a second for his last walk of the evening around the neighborhood um but earlier i decided to take a nap around about 5 30 a little bit late in the evening and a little bit late in the day to do that i know um but i decided to take a nap um because obviously i was just really really tired from me going to work and obviously me seeing my support worker and stuff like that today so I thought, okay, well, I'm feeling a bit tired now, so take a nap. So I did. And um, basically, I set my alarm from 5.30 till 7.30, okay? I wanted to be awake at 7.30 so that I could have some dinner and then, you know, do like, uh, have, a, have a shower, take Buddy out and stuff like that. And then I was going to watch tonight's episode of EastEnders and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here and stuff like that before I went to bed. Anyway, uh, so it turns out, here we are now, um, around about, what's the time now? It's nearly 10 o'clock at the time recording this part of the weekly vlog on this Tuesday evening. And I woke up at 9 o'clock. Literally woke up at 9 o'clock when I wanted to be awake at 7.30. I woke up at 9pm. And to think that... I'm going to say in about an hour from now, because I'm going to take Buddy out, then I'm going to have a shower, and obviously take my nighttime medication, then go back to bed. Um, so I'm hoping that in about an hour's time, I'm actually going to be able to fall back to sleep again. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have really uh, difficult or trouble sleeping tonight, because obviously I've slept most of this evening. Um, so yes, that's what I'm going to do.
Hello, good afternoon. It is Thursday afternoon and I've just got back from taking Buddy to the vets because he had to have his annual booster jab so he's just had that done. Um, he was very, very good. Very, very good to be honest. Um, so I'm really, really proud of him and for everything that he uh, was able to do. Anyway, uh, it's uh, Thursday afternoon. I'm just about to go back downstairs and um, make myself a flask of, I might actually have a flask of mocha, actually, because I've got, how many, oh, I've only got two left. Okay, well, I'll have a Nescafe double chop mocha. You know what I might do? I might actually have some Percy Pigs as well. I have some of those, and I might watch a movie as well. I might have a movie afternoon, actually. Okay. May have done something a little bit naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Well, to be honest, all right, let me, let me put it this way, right? When I say I've done something a little bit naughty, I hardly do this, okay? I hardly ever do this. So, <clears throat> what I've just done is I've just spent... <laughs> 80, 80 quid, 80 quid on, um, on Amazon Prime Video. Well, what I've just done is I've just basically bought a, a few movies on Amazon Prime Video. Nine movies, to be precise. All right, and I will, I will show you those, those movies that I did buy on Amazon Prime Video. Okay, uh, so we'll go from the top, shall we? Uh, these are all movies which I actually really enjoyed watching earlier this year and wouldn't mind re-watching again. Um, so, obviously, Terrifier 2 definitely being up there, of course, along with Terrifier, the original movie. Uh, and then, of course, Fall. I really enjoyed that movie so much. Uh, Bullet Train, another good movie that I li uh, liked watching at the cinema over earlier this year. Uh, the Black Phone, Orphan First Kill, and including the original Orphan movie. I wouldn't mind watching Nope again, but given the fact that in the past I have brought like Jordan Peele's other movie work, uh, like Us and Get Out, I thought it's definitely worth having on Amazon Prime uh, video through the store. And the final one, as you can see at the bottom there, is Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I loved that movie as well. I thought that one was a really, really good one. And I loved the twist at the end. Right, okay, so now that I'm done spending money on Amazon Prime Video, um, I am going to watch this movie, which is a movie actually I've never seen before. And it's a movie that came out back in 2009. Uh, it's called The House of the Devil. So I'm going to give this a watch now on Amazon Prime Video. It's included with my Prime Video subscription. So I'm going to give this a watch uh, now on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. Right, okay, this is a movie that I've been wanting to see for quite some time and I'm only just uh, about to get round to watching it right now. It's called My Best Friend's Exorcism. It's a comedy horror. So I'm going to watch that right now on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. For dinner tonight, I've got beef casserole. It is Thursday night and I've just had my dinner, of course. And I'm currently on my iMac as I'm just about to have a Skype video call with my friend Kieran, as usual, on a Thursday night. I've also, uh, I've also just watched uh, Daz Watches um, some Kickstarters as well. He recently released a new YouTube video um, of that. Uh, so if you want to check it out, do check it out. His name is Daz Games on YouTube. If you want to check him out on YouTube. Honestly, he really is funny. And I enjoy his content a lot. I really do. I like his Daz reaction videos. More than the gaming ones, I'll be honest. But for me, the reaction videos <laughs> that he does are 100% hilarious. And they get me laughing all the time. Anyway, so I'm now just about to have a Skype video called my friend Kieran on this Thursday night. It is Thursday night and I have got myself ready for bed and I'm just about to take my nighttime medication and also just about to put my camera on charge as well, ready for some more vlogging. Good morning, Friday morning. Woke up, got dressed, 
taken Buddy for his first walk of the day around the backfield and I'm currently on my way to the Toby Carberry to have some breakfast and I need to sort something out while I'm there as well but I'm not going to reveal what that is, you guys can find out very very soon. In the meantime though, um, I'm going to have breakfast so I'll show you guys that in just a second. Also as well, um, after I've shown you my breakfast, I want to talk about Twitter. It's a sad day, that's all I'm going to say for now. Let's have a look at this. For breakfast at Toby Carberry, I've got some honey on toast, I've also got a cup of tea and I've also got my cooked breakfast here, so I've got egg, I've got beans, I've got uh, potato and onion, I've got some sausages, a Yorkshire pudding with gravy, mushrooms and I've also got some hash browns and bacon as well. Buddy, what the hell are you doing? Bud, what are you doing? Weird dog. Um, I've just got back from the Toby Carberry on this uh, Friday morning and... I want to talk about Twitter um, because Twitter is an app, it's a place that I go to normally get all the latest news from around the world, from TV, from film, from streaming services, from gaming and from technology as well. Um, and it's, it's kind of an end of an era really um, because... A few weeks ago, Elon Musk, the guy that owns the Tesla cars and also the SpaceX space station as well, uh, he recently bought Twitter for $44 billion. It's caused some users that disagree with the changes that Elon is planning to make with Twitter uh, to leave Twitter um, and it's the same with some employees as well however the employees that have stayed on at Twitter and have worked under him have been working 84 hours a week and I'm not kidding when I say they've been working for 84 hours a week I've seen images on Twitter of Twitter employees who have been basically sleeping in a sleeping bag next to their desk because of the very, very high intensity of deadlines that they needed to meet for Elon Musk and some of the changes that he wants to bring into Twitter. Um, and also as well, I um, also as well, I've seen online over the last uh, couple of days that Elon Musk has fired Twitter employees because they've not been meeting some of his intense deadlines. And now it appears that engineers who help to keep the app running are leaving Twitter, which does ultimately mean that there is no one left to help keep the app running um, and stuff like that. So if Twitter breaks, there is no one to fix it, which means that everyone will be leaving Twitter at the same time, including me myself. And this is the same person that, you know, I'm <laughs> that I'm here talking about now. It's the same person right here who has said that under Elon's leadership of Twitter, I would not leave the, the app. Uh, but now I've got no choice by the sounds of it. So it is a sad day. Um, honestly, I, all I'm going to say is if Twitter does go down, um, I'm sad to see it go. At the same time, I just want to thank my followers who have been following me on Twitter for the last God knows how many years. Um, you know, within the last 10 plus years, that's for sure. Um, it's been a joy to be on Twitter um, and it's been a joy to keep you guys entertained and keep you informed with all the latest news and stuff like that. Um... I'm going to have to find some other social media alternatives, I think, that are similar to Twitter because I can't see me posting a lot on Facebook. I can't see me posting a lot on my Instagram, regardless of whether it's on the grid or on the stories. And I can't really see me posting a lot through my Snapchat stories <laughs> neither. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to find an alternative. I may have to go to Tumblr. I may have to go to the dark side and go to Tumblr. Um, so, yeah. Or go to Mastodon, which is apparently a new Twitter alternative, um, which I may have to check out. But other than that, though, 
uh, it has been a joy, honestly. And I absolutely love communicating with my Twitter family on Twitter. Um, it's just sad to see the, the app go, if it does go. Um, but, hey, to be honest, this is what happens when a multi-billionaire takes over a social media networking site and demands changes to the app and for those changes to be implemented immediately. Um, yeah. So, to be honest, right, it's also, I mean, to be honest, it's not just us that loses out. It's also Elon Musk. He also loses out because he's the one that invested in the app for $44 billion. So if the app goes, he can, he might as well just kiss goodbye to the $44 billion that he basically paid to in order to gain access to become the head chief of Twitter, basically. Um, yeah. So it is sad. It really is sad. But if I do come across any new social media networks that I am on, I will let you guys know on here and on my other social media networking sites as well that I have joined some new ones, okay? And we'll see what happens from there. So, I'm at the cinema, waiting for this film to start. We're watching Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I'm here Hello. with Damon. It's been a while since I last saw Damon. It has been a while. It's been weird. <laughs> it's been very weird, to be honest. But how have you been for the last couple of weeks? I've been good. I've just been relaxing. Um, I had a bit of a headache, to be fair, but I've shaken it now. It's gone. Yeah. Thank God. Uh, just missed Steve, really, to be honest with you. It's been kind of weird with not seeing him, to be fair. It's been weird not vlogging with you, and yeah. and the same with Kim as well. It it's been, been weird yeah. not vlogging with both you and Kim. But it's going to be nice to just chill out and watch a movie, to be honest. So yeah. I'm, I'm up for that. Are you ready for Black Panther? Or Wakanda I am. I'm ready to cry. Ready to cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This film's supposed to be emotional. Even the staff members downstairs said that this movie is supposed to be emotional. So we're getting ready. We're getting ready for this. And it's the last Marvel movie of the year. Last Marvel movie of Phase 4 as well. Yeah, and yeah, I was about to say that as well. Last Marvel movie of Phase 4, sadly. So, yeah. But anyway, we're uh, really looking forward to watching Black Panther Wakanda Forever. We'll give you our thoughts on it uh, in the next part of the weekly vlog. So we're at the Mary Shirley, and I have got a Pigs in Blankets uh, Brie and Bacon Burger with some chips. And Damon, what did you go for? I went for the Buttermilk Burger with chips. Buttermilk Burger with chips, and we yep. also got a drink as well. Cherry Pepsi Max, so nothing interesting. What did you think of uh, Black Panther? Really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. I give it like a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, the acting in it is phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I love Namor. Yeah. Um, I love the, uh, the actor who plays him as well. I don't know his name, but he did a really yeah. good job. Um, I just think the whole movie was really, really good. Yeah. Um, I think it was quite emotional in places. I didn't cry, but I was close at certain points. Uh, I know spoilers from me, but yeah. a certain character who dies in the movie. Yeah. Um, and it got to me a little bit. But on that, yeah, really impressive movie. Yeah. All right, well, there we go. So that's Damon's thoughts on Black Panther Wakanda Forever. And I'll give you my thoughts in the next part of the vlog. Um, but I'm going to tuck in now my weather spoons. Friday night. Just got back home from seeing... Uh, Damon uh, from at Bournemouth Town, of course, went to the cinema, and we also went to Weatherspoons. Can I just say, not not long after I had stopped filming that scene that you guys just saw of me and Damon together in Weatherspoons. I'm gonna bring this up, okay? So me and Damon, we sat there, and obviously we ate, and then we had a drink as well just our pepsi max cherry that we ordered and we were talking and there was this woman right and she was stood not far from where me and damon were sat right and she she um she basically got herself some beer and a glass and like, th not long after I stopped filming as well, they started playing some really loud music. Now, obviously, already in Weatherspoons, it was really, really loud already. But the music just made it even more louder. Although, to be fair, they did play some really good tunes, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. And then this woman that was just stood there near me and Damon while we were talking and stuff. She was there just dancing away. 
like as if she was in her own world and I was like okay fair enough she she's in her own world that that's fine you know she ain't gonna bother us oh no she did she, she bothered us well not bothered us so much she just came and uh, and approached us more like you know she just approached us right now <laughs> now forgive me right <laughs> forgive me but first of all it was really loud in Weatherspoons, right because of the people talking away and all of that laughing shouting all of that right uh and having really loud conversations with each other so that's the first thing the second thing is also the music didn't help because it was really really loud anyway this woman came over to me and damon and i honestly thought i honestly thought she had said this I thought she'd said, have you guys got a baseball? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought she'd said, have you guys got a baseball? I have no idea. And also, why would we? Because we're in a pub. You know, we're in a pub having a conversation and having a drink with one another. You know, having, literally, just two normal average guys just talking... Uh, <laughs> you know, and I thought she'd come over and asked us, have we got a baseball? But Damon corrected, though, because he, uh, he must have heard her more clearly than me, because she actually asked if we had Facebook. <laughs> so, honestly, I, we, we both said no, but weird. Why, why did she want our Facebook? I mean, you know... I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's just weird, to be honest. But the fact that the even weirder thing is, is the fact that I thought she'd said, have you guys got a baseball? Um, <laughs> ah, um, yeah, so that happened. Um, but no, in all seriousness, so, um, you know, I want to say a massive thank you uh, to Damon for today. It's been a while, actually, since I've last thanked anyone in the weekly... It feels like it. It feels like it's been a while since I last thanked anyone for meeting up with me and appearing in the vlog and stuff like that. So, but yeah. Um, but no, in all seriousness, a massive thank you to Damon for today. Because honestly, I really do appreciate meeting up with him. It was good to actually get out of the house and do something as well, actually. Um, but because honestly, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been if I've not been at work, I've been staying at home, you know. So it's actually good for me to be getting out of the house and doing something. Um, but also as well for meeting up with me and for having a really good time as well. Because honestly, I really did enjoy today so, so much. I am now just about to I'm going to make myself a flask of tea. And I've also got a pile of washing, which I need to put away. And then as soon as I've done that, I then need to go downstairs and put some washing that's in the washing machine right now into the tumble dryer because it's got my work uniform in it and I need to get that dried ready for work for tomorrow. So I'm going to go and do that right now. Now on this Friday night, I'm just about to watch last night's episode of EastEnders on BBC iPlayer on my Galaxy Tab S7. Morning, it is Saturday morning, just woke up, just got dressed into my work uniform, it's 4.30 in the morning. Also, very chilly this morning. First time in autumn of 2022 that I've actually seen frost on cars. Very chilly, definitely going to need this hat this morning. While I'm walking to work. Anyway, before I do that though, I'm currently taking Buddy for his first walk of the day around the neighbourhood on this Saturday morning. Now, just about to give Buddy his food and water. Just made myself a flask of tea to take with me to work, and I'm just about to put my smartwatch on my wrist. Currently on my way to work on this Saturday morning, just about to do a 5.45 till 10.45 shift at work. And oh, absolutely freezing cold. My hands are so cold. I really need to get some gloves, I think. Yeah, I think I do. Anyway, off to work I go.
Saturday night and that is everything that I've been up to today. I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the montage there. Um, I'm now going to be heading off to bed. The time is just coming up to quarter past ten. Uh, so I'm going to catch an early night tonight. Um, and I have got work tomorrow. As you can see I'm already in my pyjamas as well. Um, so yeah I'm just about to take my nighttime medication, drink my last flask of tea for this evening. And then head off to bed. It is Sunday afternoon and I have just got home from work after doing a 5.45am uh, till 10.45am shift. And I'm just about to get out of my work uniform and have a shower as well. I'm going to head off into the bathroom and have a shower. Currently taking Buddy for his second walk of the day around the backfield on this Sunday afternoon. Now just about to watch Last Night in Soho on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. Sunday afternoon, just about to watch Unfriended Dark Web on Amazon Prime Video on my TV in my bedroom. And that is it for this week's weekly vlog. A massive thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this week's uh, weekly vlog. If you did... Feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section down below and feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel Steve Official to become a Stevo. Uh, I will be back next week with another weekly vlog for you. Uh, so got some really good stuff coming up next week, definitely for sure. I've got a lot more better stuff coming up than I have done for the last couple of weeks, okay? I know I've been lacking in content. Uh, I'm really sorry, okay? That's all I could say. I'm really sorry. But I've been wanting to still pump out some vlogs. So, you get what you're given, okay? You get what you're given, all right? But I can promise this, though. Next week will be a little bit more, shall we say, content-filled? Yeah, content filled. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of trips to the cinema next week. Um, some solo cinema trips. So I'll give you my thoughts on some of the movies and stuff that I have watched. Um, and also as well, meeting up with Kira next week as well. So I'm sure he'll be making an appearance in the weekly vlog. And fingers crossed, uh, I should also be meeting up with not just Damon... But hopefully with Kim as well. So um, it's been a couple of weeks since I last saw Kim. So it'll be really nice to meet up with her again. Like I said earlier in the weekly vlog. I really have missed her a lot to be honest. Um, and the same with Damon. I'm really glad this week I met up with Damon. Um, you know. So yeah. I really am glad that I did meet up with Damon. Because I have missed him. I really have missed him. Um, I, I absolutely love it. Like I, like I do always say, I love hanging out with them, okay? So, um, so when I don't hang out with them, I do genuinely miss them a lot. So, uh, but anyway, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back next week with another weekly vlog. Until then, though, goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next weekly vlog. Next YouTube video.